In the last video, we learned how to create this daytime mountain scene using Inkscape. And in this video, we're going to take this scene and convert it to a night scene by just changing the colors. This is artwork that comes from UKR Art Design. You can learn more about him and his work in the links in the description of this video. And you can also download this artwork for free to download and modify. It's released under a Creative Commons license. And I'll include the link in the description of this video. This is just going to be a sped up video, and for the most part, we're just changing colors to achieve this night look. We'll first change the sun to a darker gray color, a moon color, and then we can adjust the background gradient color. And then we'll adjust the opacity of these clouds. Uh, it's not even changing the color, just changing the opacity. We'll duplicate the circle, and then we'll lower it and apply a blur, and that gives the moon a nice glow look to it. Um, other than that, we're just going to be changing a few gradients, adding a few highlights, and mostly just changing colors so we can select the object of these mountains and adjust the color. Using the CMYK color picker uh, or color tool is a good way to do this because you can just adjust the K value, which doesn't, you can set all the color to zero uh, so that it's just gray, and then we can adjust that lightness and darkness value. You can also use the color wheel or whatever you're comfortable with, but this is a good way to experiment with that CMYK panel. Um, you, you'll notice UK art, art Design uses that CMYK panel quite a bit, and it's often used when you're doing uh, printing. So for a, a printer, for printing graphics, uh, CMYK is very popular to work in because that's what printers natively, uh, the inks that they print in. We'll adjust the... Uh, there's two different ways to do this. If you adjust the opacity, it makes it so that you can change uh, the background behind. So in the sky with these clouds, adjusting the opacity makes it so that all we have to do is change the sky color and these clouds will kind of assume or they'll take on the color behind them because it's transparent. Whereas if you choose an actual color, then you may have to go in and recolor every time. So the way that you draw your artwork, whether you're doing an, an op opacity with a white or black color, or if you're actually doing a color, uh, is going to change the way that it, uh, the, the amount of effort involved in changing from night to day, if that makes sense. You'll notice a few cases here, um, we'll add in some different highlights. So I think here on the chimney, we can add in, we'll add in a highlight to the roof and the chimney in just a moment here. As you get into this process, you may want to add some new highlights uh, to bring out certain parts. Here on the roof, we can add a highlight and also add a highlight to the chimney and different highlights that may uh, bring out more distinct features of this moonlight sitting on certain objects. And so you can get in and either add or remove certain highlights if you want to remove some detail as well. You can remove a highlight or a shadow. Now that we're finished, we can select everything and group each one of these images and that's the final image. Hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.